Hey, hey, little mama. See, looking at me. Hey, you like you want to say something? Huh? Huh? We in here with Ali Estrada. How you doing? Say it right. Ali. I did. See, I, I, I was once asked you before I even get her right. Ali Estrada. Ali Estrada. There you go. Is your, is your real name Ali or how did you come up with that? My name is Aliana. Aliana. Mm -hmm. So you take, took away the Ana and put the Estrada. Where, where's the Estrada? Yeah, you funny. Estrada means a paved way, so that's how I picked it. A paved way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there is there a way I'm trying to figure out? Is it like... What you trying to figure out? A paved way. Ali, yeah, a paved way. way. Ali is the way. You the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've been making music for a while now. Yeah. We was talking for a little bit. You say what you were like almost 10 years in? Mm, basically, yeah. I like just messing with it. No. Definitely what, 10 years. 10 years in? Mm -hmm. What made you, made you want to start with music? J. Cole. J. Cole. Mm -hmm. I love him. Was it, a, was it a certain song? He also ended some of my relationships in J. Cole ended your relationships. Yeah. Oh, a certain song though, yeah, Love Yours. How long how long we gotta go back? How how could J. Cole end your relationship? What'd he do? They people just insecure. Like they feel like if I ever met him, I would have him. Y'all you broke up over argument about J. Cole? Yeah. I think twice. Twice? Mm hmm So you must talk about J. Cole a lot or No, which... I do music. So if I'm if I'm doing music and you asking me the same questions, I'm gonna say the same answer. It's not gonna change because you want to be that guy. I didn't say I wanted to fuck him. I said he made me write my first one. Okay, so they just mad because of that? Cause you're influenced by J Cole. Basically, yeah. They want to be. They want to be your influence. Is that what it is, or what it was? They just know I'm gonna be great, and I am gonna meet him. So I was like, you gonna meet him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I went to sign the Dreamville for a little bit. Okay, what's that? Dreamville? That's a that's a tour. Medical? Oh, you want to sign the Dreamville? Mm -hmm. I thought you said you went there. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So J. Cole, do you got like a top five? For J. Cole? No, J. just Cole? a top five artist. I guess J. Cole number one. Um, I don't have top five. I don't listen to people. You don't listen to people? Mm-mm. I don't keep up with people. Not even J. Cole. What about singing? Because you do both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't listen to people because I don't want it to be, I don't want my music to be influenced by anyone else. I mean, I don't watch TV. I'm just like, I'm not small minded, but I'm trying to be big minded in my own mind, if that makes sense. For sure. How you uh, think you come up with your style now? Uh, my emotions. Your emotions? That's what I'm feeling, that's what I do. Okay. Your personality, would you say you're emotional? No. I no? say emotionless. Emotionless? Mm -hmm. Huh. Have you been in a lot of relationships? Uh, living, like, in-home dick? No. No? No, like two. Does a relationship count if y'all not living together, or is that something else? To me, it don't. That's not a Because if I have to take care of myself and... Do everything by myself, then that means not by myself. Okay. Yeah. So if you're not living together, it's not the real thing. Okay. Are you a uh, single now? Yeah. How you feel about that? You like being single? Yeah, I do. I like the quietness, the peace. Like, not having to cater to anyone's emotions. Especially when they don't know what the fuck they're even feeling. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Are you single? You asked a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm single for right now. Okay. So relationships, they don't bring you peace? I thought relationships were supposed to bring you peace. I know that's what men want. They yeah, say they supposed want... supposed to happen. Uh-huh. It, like it don't. Mm -hmm. Especially when you deal with people in the music industry. Like, they don't want you to pass them at all. They don't want you to pass them? Mm -mm. When you're dealing with somebody in the music industry and do the same thing as you, they don't want you to pass them. Yeah. Mm, I wouldn't say that's necessarily true. It just depends on who you're dealing with. I mean, I guess, but from what I experienced, you know. Has it been 
more like one person or was it's multiple you could say multiple. and they all kind of held you back um no i had fun with one it was fun like we got a little vibe going on and it wasn't like it wasn't like titles or nothing nobody even really knew about it but we can make some bomb ass music together i don't fuck with him though he a bitch but yeah no, i had fun once you have fun once. Mm-hmm. I mean, as long as, the, as long as the music's good, I guess you know what I'm saying that's 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 the point. Uh, what's what's your what's your creative process? Uh, what do you need first? Some pain. Some pain. Yeah, yeah. To bring it back to the surface, Cause you know, I'm like I said, I'm emotionless, so I, I have a way of like burying that shit. But when I bring it back up, it just come out. And if I can't bring it up, it don't come out. So you can't say you're emotionless if you got pain. It's got where that pain come from. My childhood, I guess. What happened? A lot. A lot. Where you from? I'm from everywhere. Was you like a military brat or what? No. <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Poor, nigga. I was poor. My yes. mom just moved around a lot, so I can't say I'm from anywhere. But I've been here in the DFW. Since my daughter was six weeks old, I think, so about nine years. Nine years. I can, I can relate I lived to that. everywhere. San Antonio, Abilene, Lubbock, San Angelo. You fucking name it. So all around Texas, you just a yeah. original Texas I never girl. Never Texas. Never been mean, outside Louisiana, of Texas? That don't count. Louisiana, Oklahoma, like when you go right outside, the, that don't count. Our little neighbors, yeah. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like traveling. Where would you want to go? You said you don't like travel. That's like one of the, I ain't never heard of. No, one I don't. Say. I don't. I don't like being in the air. Like I don't like being in the air or on the road for too long. Okay, what you got? Anxiety. I guess I'm impatient. Impatient. But I would go to Georgia though. Georgia. Mm-hmm. Why Georgia? That's where my family is. I never met them. You never like met them. My him? dad and his whole side of the family. I never met them. Your dad's in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And you met him or you never have? No, I talked to him. I never seen him face to face. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. How'd you talk to him? On the phone. On the phone? How you get his number? Like, how did that work? Mm-hmm. DNA test. A DNA test? Mm-hmm. The first time I spoke to him, I was 16. Why, why, why'd you take a DNA test at 16? Uh, my mom did it. I don't know. I don't know why she did it. She called him up and said, we're going to take a DNA test? I think the state made him do it. The state made him do it? Mm-hmm. Oh, she put him on child support? I guess so. Okay, okay, okay. So he had to take the DNA test. So then it came out that you was his baby, and then he called him up. Uh, yeah, he didn't want to meet me. What? Yeah, he feels like uh, I'd be too angry, I guess. He thought you would be too angry. I was angry. You was angry? Yeah, yeah, I was angry. A lot of stuff happened to me. You was angry at your dad because of it? Hell yeah, I want to slap him. Why you want to slap him? Slap him, then hug him, maybe. But yeah, I'm angry. You feel like it's his fault? I feel like I'm not that. I'm not 24 years away. He could have drove to me. He could have drove to you, but he didn't know. Cause if he, he took, knew. how you know you knew? You know. Why do you take a DNA test then? Cause they made him do it. Okay. If that if, if that's true, then that makes sense. I mean, sense. you have sex, right? You know whenever you make a baby. But you, if you watch you a cu- if you watch a couple episodes of Maury, man, you got you you. Would. They have baby pictures of me I never seen. They knew me. But still, you never know till you get that test. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie at the same then time. Why do you have my baby pictures like we're nothing? Because you, because it might be, but you don't know hundred percent for sure. You never know hundred percent till you get that Are DNA test. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. I'm not taking I'm not that. Twenty four years away. But still, he drove down here in a single day and met me, or at least shook my hand. He did not. I agree. And I said I was sixteen. I'm finna be twenty five. Yeah. You don't give a fuck about me, and I don't give a fuck about you. But I do have a cool ass cousin down there, though. His name is Tino, and he's like, he's like the male version of me. I can't wait to meet him. Like I meet him before my dad. You don't fuck. Yeah, he has three kids. He has a studio. He does his own music. He's married. You know, he's living the life. He's just okay. like me. He does videography, photography, you know. Mm-hmm. He with the shits. 
Out of all the creative things that you do, what what brings you the most fun? Like what's, I guess, the most pleasure? Is it music or is it the vi the videos or? Oh, uh, I say. No, I, I don't. I don't like the videos. I don't like being on camera actually at all. But I, I'd say like the point when I get done with something, like the. I wouldn't call it an addiction, but it's like a high. You know, when you're proud of yourself, it's kind of like a high. But uh, the marketing and being in front of the cameras and shit, it's not. I don't want to do it. People was telling me for a long time I should just cover up my face and just put out music like that, but who wants to do that? How you feel about writing? That's what I do. I'm talking about like ghostwriting or writing for people. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Somebody asked me that before, but I feel like unless I really can't sing it, I'm not selling it. It's mine. I completely, completely understand that. Yeah. How do you How do you feel about your music? It could do better. What you mean? It could be better. What's wrong with it? Um, uh, I don't know. I think I'm my biggest. I'm my biggest enemy when it comes to my music, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. You okay. listen to it, right? What's wrong with it? You telling me that it could be better? I ain't say that. So that's the reason why you said that. I feel like it could. I think I just need to like work with more people because I love doing collabs. It's really fun to me. People okay. always like, why do you have so many collabs? Why do you have so many features? But it's like, I like to work with people. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen when you step inside of a studio. Like, it, def it definitely brings out your creative juices. Yeah. Um, Who was your favorite collab so far? Uh, I say YT. The YT, what's that song called? Pause. Pause. He did ghetto too, but I have like three features to ghetto, but I still pick that one anyways. Every song he gets on, he just does it. He do his thing. Okay. Is there anything you working on new? Yeah, I'm making a new project. It's called Nemo 222. Nemo? Nemo. Like Finding Nemo or is just something else? Yeah, like Finding Nemo. I'm looking for my fish. What happened to you? Okay. But 222, basically all the songs are around two minutes long and it's like but yeah that's where the 222 came in but yeah definitely Nemo is going to be it's going to be like a project based off of when I was single and learning to love myself and like when I did find love and it didn't work out and now I'm single again so of course this song going to come from that but yeah this should come soon I'm recording Thursday so Okay, when you say recording Thursday, how many songs can you knock out in a day? Uh, I recorded two yesterday. Okay. In the studio with the fucking dogs. A little doing too much. Yeah. So you're an engineer because you record it, you record yourself, right? Yeah. C Square taught me a lot. Honestly, I just don't have the same software as him, so it's kind of hard sometimes. What software do you use? Right now. Yeah. I had Pro Tools on my computer. It crashed. I got another one. And now I have to use Band Lab because I'm scared it's gonna crash again. But I mean, I could travel. Like I could go to the studio right now. I just I don't want to do that. Do you make beats too, or you ain't never thought about that? Um, I'm gonna need a beat maker, but I wanted to have the software first before I picked a beat maker. And one crazy thing. Yeah, I know how to do all that. I play the guitar and the piano. Mm -hmm. Guitar and piano. Mm -hmm. Huh? How you learn that? Solo too. Solitude. Mm -hmm. Are you more like a loner? You like to be by yourself? You would say. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't like to be alone either. Though I'm not into it. Hmm. Is that when you do your most create? Like when you're alone and. Uh, sometimes I have to have time to decompress, but like being around somebody, it makes me feel like I have to make sure they're okay. Does that make sense? Like. Got the nurture. All my energy is going to go towards making sure they're okay. So whenever I am alone, I have to take the time to decompress and then 
you know, maybe I'll be in a good mood to write or something like that. Does being in a relationship take away from your music? It just depends on who it is. Right, because if they do make music, it can help out. It can, it can build the creative process, but it just depends on if they're not a music person, that it could probably you'll be more focused on the relationship than the music. Yeah, but like I said, people don't want you to pass them. So I couldn't go to events alone. I couldn't go to the studio alone. You know, like being in a relationship kind of like limits you a little bit. But the way I feel is my character is going. You know, if I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship. Everybody knows that. But it's like they're so insecure and they just. I might as well have been with a fucking female. Hmm. If you was gonna bitch that much about me being great. So it's about you going out. That's the, that's kind of like the thing. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But the music, making music and all that's not a problem. Putting it out, it's just. I don't know if it's a, that's that's more like might just be a jealousy thing, and then you being great. You know no, what I mean? Because when I stop, it's a problem too. Like if I don't if I don't want to write, if I don't want to do a video if I don't have the energy for it it's like it's because you convinced me that it's not okay in our relationship mm -hmm. so I don't want to do it no more right well, I'm saying he wants you to be great because he wants you to make the music it's just nah, he probably don't want other men around you yeah but so what you think fans are right I don't know so it's a jealousy thing do you feel like you're jealous in relationships or not not unless I don't have a reason to, like, I'm not going to shut the fuck up there and ignore it, like, blame disrespect, but no, not really, not when I'm secure. But it's been a while, and I don't do relationships, really. It's like, if you don't give me no reason, I'm not going to give you no reason. We don't got to do the tit for tat shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you know, do it. Reason. Yeah. So being single is fun. That's when you're probably doing your most creative shit. And you're working on some new things. Okay. I wouldn't say fun. Like, no one wants to sleep alone. No one. But when you wake up, that shit going to pop off. So sleeping, okay. I like that. So sleeping alone, that's kind of when it's a waking up. It's a good day. Waking up single is good. Sleeping alone is bad. Yeah, sleep, no, no. I said sleeping alone is is actually fucking horrible. But when you wake up, single, it's a it's a celebration. I mean, not a celebration, but the loneliness and the hurt does go away, regardless of what anyone wants to say. It does go away. But I mean, I'm cool. What's the biggest problems with relationships? You think so far? In relationships? Yeah. Communication? Really, honestly, it's not me. Because like I said, I was single for a year and a half. And then I got in a relationship. But that person didn't heal. So everything that I healed from, like, I'm ready now. Like, I'm, I'm ready to love now. Okay, it's going to happen. They wasn't ready. So all of that they brought to me. And it kind of like, it almost brought me back to where I was. But like, you got to know when to cut the shit off. Like, the only thing that you're really missing is the sleep. The sleep. The sleep. Because when you wake up, it's, it's like fuck shit all over again. But like sleeping close to somebody being, you know, having Makes you comfortable. Security. Yeah, but when you wake up and you start your day, you don't want to start it with that person. You just... Addicted to the comfort, not the person. What do you believe? Heal? Why do you think people need to heal? Cause it's not fair to the next person. Like, can somebody actually heal that's been damaged? Once the damage has been done, yeah, yeah, I've been. But you have to take time to. You say you heal, but it's, it's still nah, gonna, it's still gonna cross your mind. Okay, let's say you meant to live with your life right now, right? But she just got out of a relationship. What two weeks ago? And she's still angry about it, you know, and she's still following the patterns that they did, arguing every day, bitching about shit, but you're not that type of person. What would you do? Would you not be uncomfortable? Of course you try to adjust, but when nothing changes, then what do you do? 
You can't just let it go. You know what I'm saying? You got to go ahead no, and jump on. Of course, you fight, but I'm saying, like, wouldn't it be more peaceful if she took the time to know that you don't have to take it to the next person? Just look at your fucking self in the mirror and figure out, you know, like, what happened? What's wrong? And then don't take it to your next person. Yeah, but it's still going to be on your mind. So? You can't forget. Yes, you can. Nah, because he do something similar. Like, oh, you know what? He didn't answer his phone from work. My ex didn't do it. Now you doing yeah, it. Red you ain't going to. going to be red flags. But I'm just saying, exactly. So you ain't going to forget nothing your ex did. You know what I'm saying? Once you see that, it's stuck. You damaged. So now when you see it again, it's like, oh my God, here, here you go doing the same thing my ex was doing. Because the damage has already been done. So now you might just be quick to jump off. You know what I'm saying? And no. I feel like once the damage has been done, you can't heal from nothing. You can't heal from it. So you telling me I'm unhealable? The more the, old, you the older you get, the more damage you go through. I the, say the only thing that fucked me up this time is because I knew, like, my intuition don't lie to me. I knew it was going to happen. Knew what was going to happen. Like, the way, it, the way it played out. Like, when I met him... You know, he convinced me he's this he's this certain type of dude and then um, you know, I get vibes, so we having car talks, best friend shit, you know. We were just kicking it, but I found out a lot. And he had just moved out of a house with a woman and three kids, but he just left. So yeah. I knew when I bought the house he was gonna leave. Like my soul told me that. He so was I was like, I'm always tripping whenever I think about it or like when I bring it up but that's exactly what happened. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got a house he, with him and he left. He thought he thought I would be like out of there. Like he thought I would just lose the house like that bitch did. But no, I'm I'm Aliana, You know, so it's kind of fucked up. But I would say that's the only thing. Like not trusting my intuition. But you know how you you want somebody to be better and you try to make them better. It it just it just don't happen like that. It never works. Fuck Now you single out here doing your thing, making music. Yeah, we done got, got a little deep. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. Not for sure. So, you originally from what part of... Well, so, you moved all around, but when you got to Dallas, what, what part of Dallas are you from? Eastwood. Fort Worth. Eastwood. Forestwood. The Fort Worth, Fort Worth Fort part. Worth. Eastwood. Eastwood. Mm -hmm. What's it like out there? Cause Dallas and Fort Worth is like two different. Like it's like out of town I mean, to me. I don't know what to say about Dallas. That's what I'm saying. It's like out of town. So you can introduce me to I'm Eastwood. I'm in the country now, though. Huh? But when I did live in Eastwood, I could say it's just like shit. In the simplest form, it's the hood. It's the but hood. like everyone knows who I am when I go there. It's never no hate unless it's like a bitch who nigga I used to fuck or whatever. But I'm welcome there. How you make a name for yourself in Eastwood? I stayed there. I stayed on Bright Street. You stayed there? Mm -hmm. What you known for doing music? What was you known for? Um, I started music over there, actually. That's why I wrote my first song. Okay. You remember what your first song was? Mm-hmm. Um, it was Dear Mama, but it was like a uh, sample song. I wrote it for my mama. A Tupac rendition? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Cannot find it. Don't look for it. <laughs> for sure. So, I'm guessing you and your mom's pretty close now, right? No. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it recently or y'all was before, but not now? No, nah, I mean, that's my mama, but she don't love me. I don't think so. How you know if somebody loves you? They show it. How you know if love is real? You can feel it. You can feel the love? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel the love. Sir. I'm the <laughs> Sir, what the fuck? Right now we done went to uh <laughs> Yeah, anyway. To therapy. Okay. No. Um, she supports me though, like basically I'll say she loves my kids. She has love for me, but I mean, she'll be my biggest fan one day and then write me off the next. Like, I don't even exist to her. So, 
That little uh, tough love, yeah. I don't think it's that much. I don't think it's that much love. I'm still gonna buy her a house though. You'll buy her a house, that's yeah. That's why you do it. I'll still buy her a house. Okay. So you seem like you got a little soft heart. Were you um you was telling me what's uh what's your son? I'm a cancer. You're a cancer. You know what cancers are about? How what you mean? I'm a cancer. Right, but I'm not too familiar. What what's the y'all think? Because right, 'cause I'm a Gemini, I know we kinda It depends on I don't know. I just know that I can turn my emotions off very quickly, like You don't really catch feelings? I can turn them on real quick. Wishy wash you wishy washy. I'm normal. I'm a human. Normal. Yeah, I'm normal. Off and on, I don't want to know. That's that. That's that more wishy washy. I used to be really violent though. I can say that. I used to be really violent. Like the fight. I just I have a thing for slapping people. Men or women. Both. Uh, what happens when you slap them? Which one? Either one. I, mean, I know that's you one. Know, of, bitches like to pull hair, but men, they kind of they don't expect it. You be slapping men that don't expect it. No, they don't expect it. You say what happens. And how does it end? Cause that sounds crazy. It just depends on the nigga. Most of my bitches though, nothing happens. Nothing. Mm -mm. I don't know. If that's that's smart. I'm not that girl anymore though. Right, 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 right. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure one one you gonna slap you gonna smack the wrong dude and it's not gonna be worth. I disagree, but I learned how to control my emotions. Like, I don't let people make me mad anymore. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. So we need to check out your music. Where can we, where can we find your music? I'm on YouTube. Um, Ali Estrada from the beginning. Nemo two 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 is coming out, and I'm not an Instagram girl, so find me on Facebook. Ali Estrada, and you can find all my links there. Okay, now you definitely have some good music, so we're gonna we're gonna check you out, and uh, you got some new things coming out. We're gonna be looking forward to that, and that's good. Now it's a pleasure meeting you. And if you're a beautiful person, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check you out. Okay, that's a bit. That buzz, but I got you buzzing.